Hey guys, my name is Luthias and welcome to my best loot run ever. Now as most of you guys know, um, the salt and radiation zone has been my favorite for years. But today I'm going to show you exactly why. And most of your reactions might be, but Luthias, if you go to the, you know, the northwest bunker, um, you will get better loot than what you can get here. Or more loot and guys when it comes to the best loot run ever then it goes with risk okay the amount of risk that there is going there the amount of time it takes you to loot that area and the amount of time it takes you to prepare for that area okay and as you guys know with the salt and radiation zone you only need one potassium you know, you only need one potassium tablet, which you can find at any house or kitchen. And you only need one blue mushroom, which you can find in the Sultan Cave. Okay, or at if you spawn in Brightmoor, you can get it at the swamps. So getting into this location, the preparation for it is very quick. The risk for it is quite low. And as long as you have a weapon and you can, you know, your aim isn't too bad, you can get in here really, really quickly. But the main thing for me is the best loot that I've gotten, okay, in such a short period of space. And I'm not looking at the quantity, I'm talking about quality. So when it comes to suppressors and attachments and reavers and dictators, you know, and guns like those, and equipment, you know, with flak vests and helmets, basically complete package. That is what the salt and radiation zone gives you. Now you will see that I've got the mask on um, underneath my bike helmet, and I've got the suit and the gas canister. But my radiation is still going to go up, but very slowly. Okay, so if you guys want to stay in the radiation zones indefinitely, because there's a cool radiation zone up north as well then just repair your gas mask and your gas canister to a hundred percent and you'll be able to stay in here indefinitely okay if you want to wear the hazmat suit you know that will give you extra protection against acid rain it will give you complete protection against the elements so you know that's a good option but if you're just thinking about the radiation a fully repaired hazmat mask and um, canister will give you 100% protection, you can stay in here indefinitely. Okay, so we've already got a shotgun and a um, DDMK-18. Okay, and so those two first two SUVs gives you quite nice loot most of the time. And then of course you've got a pack of wolves and normally a spider mutant that you have to sort out here. Again, when it comes to aiming, you don't need a lot of ammunition. Okay, just made sure there with the second shot, I missed the first one. So basically with one bullet, one well-timed bullet, you can kill the spider mutant. And then, you know, with melee weapons, you can kill the dogs and the wolves with melee weapons if you want to. Okay, but of course it's nice to have a gun in case you run into any trouble or any other place. So in this tent, I usually find various items, armor, attachments, um, guns, you know, I've never really found anything epic in this tent, but I still get a lot of good loot here, like I said, you get, you still get good loot like pistol flashlights, landmines, um, suppressors and stuff like that, but you know, out of my runs, I haven't really found anything like extremely unique in here but then here the run begins an m249 boys with a clip inside the suv okay so here i was already excited okay it's, uh, i think i've only found the m249 twice it's a very rare spawn so sometimes it's all about luck you know some guys might find it 10 or 20 times other guys might not find it at all it's just your luck because every time you move into a location it's got a very very small percentage of spawning okay but at least you can see there is a spawn point for it of course 
in this you know, location. And then the SUVs are always great ideas, but behind me is the gold mine of the salt and radiation zone. Might not look like it, but it is. Right here, guys. Got the reaver with a clip. Behind me is a table that I've that I have found ve many dictators on. Okay, I found the grimy rick here, so I found a lot of unique weapons in this little um, location over here. Okay, and of course underneath us is a lot of lumber. Okay, both of these little encampments have a lot of lumber. The truck, there's two trucks with a lot of lumber. So you can just come here and basically build the base as well, okay? It will give you a heck of a lot of lumber. So it's great for base building as well, if you don't want to chop trees all day. And then, yeah, right here on these tables, that's, this is normally where I find a dictator and suppressors and cool attachments. And then here's just where I lost my shit, guys. Two Reavers, an M249 and two Reavers in one run. Okay, now personally, this is the best run I've had. Okay, like I said, I have found Dictators, I have found Reavers before, I have found an M249 before. But three unique weapons in one location, I have never found. And this is on my server, but my, my loot is default. Okay, so I've never changed anything about the loot. It's a hardcore server, so you know, nothing gets made easier. The only things that I change is to make it more immersive, like with the cooking mod and stuff like that. You know, but the the the, the loot is default, guys. So this is this is what kind of run you can get on a default server. Okay, and that's why I say, and um, this video is probably going to be about. 10 to 11 minutes long with um, the time I'm spending here. So looting this area at your leisurely pace might take about 10 minutes, okay? And yeah, if, you've, if you haven't got enough blue mushrooms and if, you, if you've only got one potassium, you at least need two blue mushrooms because when you get out, you might have some radiation left and you want to get rid of that. So even if you've got one potassium and two blue mushrooms, you can book it in here and loot the, the tent, these two little office areas here, the SUVs and the yellow tent that I'm, that I'm going to go to now. Okay, these are the main areas that you want to loot. You can skip the first two SUVs that I went to. So... Basically, you want to take the green tent, the, the stuff behind me, the two SUVs, and the um, you know, the amalgamated tent that I'm going to loot now. That you can do easily with a blue mushroom and a potassium tablet, okay? But yes, um, I'm very happy that I did click the record button. I'm very glad that I can show you guys this. And... Just once again, guys, it's just about experience and the amount of time you put into this game. Because, who knows, you might, you might find another area, okay? There are a few radiation zones in the south that I hardly ever go into, okay? So I'll, st I'll still explore that and see if it's worthwhile. It's very hidden. I don't think a lot of people use it. Um... So I've gotten used to my my style of playing, but that's not to say it's the only style of playing. And you know, you guys might know of other kind of loot runs that has helped you a lot. But for you guys that have been with me for a long time, you know I always talk about the salt and radiation zone. And you know, this is just the trump card to. No, thump it down that it is it has been my favorite loot location for a long time and it will still be my favorite loot location for a very very long time so i hope you f you guys found this helpful and for all of you guys that comes to locations you know and you don't find loot that you want 
It's just persistence, guys. Don't log in out and log back in after 15 minutes, okay? That's just going to break the game for you. Just keep on exploring. Keep on looting, okay? And get to the... You know, you'll get that loot. And you'll feel better about it. Instead of just logging in, logging out. So, guys, I hope you enjoyed it. If you're new here, please click the subscribe button. If you like this video, pre please press the like button. And um, yes, have a great weekend. And um, I'll see you guys. See you guys again. And like always, just have fun, guys. Just have fun.